team daily basis will share the recorded videos after completion of the class along with the material. So material look like, like this. Team. Okay. So what are the class we are discussing and what are the concepts we are discussing. So we'll make a note of each and everything and we'll share this document with you daily. Okay. So go through the document, go through the recorded video and do the practice. Clear? And one more thing. So if you want to work on Tosca automation, this is your Tosca automation. To work on this Tosca automation, we'll do the installation part in your system. Okay. We will share you this link. So who are, once the batch is confirmed, okay, once the batch is confirmed and uh, who are willing to join these classes. So if they get the confirmation, they'll share this installation link to them and they'll do the installation part here. Okay, now, and once again, I'm repeating. So daily classes is 45 days around 8.30 to 9.30. So someone is requested 8.50, but I'm not sure we'll connect with the management. So I'll get back to you yesterday. So these all are the system requirements team. So just make sure cross check these system requirements. If you don't have any laptop, any system in your hand, so in our institute, a lot of laptops are available and lab facility also available. If you feel comfortable to come offline, you can come with the offline classes. Okay. Even mentors also available here. Then the types of applications, web and desktop, SAP, database and API. And regularly, I'll give you the assignments and resume preparations, career guidance and interview questions. So at the time of topic explanation, I will tell you this is one of the interview question. This is one of the interview question like this. Okay. So today we'll go with the Tosca automation. Is anyone comfortable? Everyone is comfortable with English, right? Do you want me to explain in Telugu as well? Anyone? Both. Please make this one as an interactive session tip. Don't keep silent. Yeah, both feel better. Just comfort Feeling both. both. Feeling both are better, right? Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm comfortable in English. Sorry, I don't understand Telugu. Yeah, I'm sure for me also. See. Then fine thing. I'll explain English along with the Telugu as well, as well as Telugu. Okay, no problem. Both the languages. But we all are here to learn something. Okay. So gain some knowledge. Ask your question. Even Telugu and English. Both are acceptable. Deep. Ask your question. Clarify your questions. Hear each other. Okay. So if I'm saying something, don't listen blindly. So if you know something, you can ask how this one, how this, how we will do, how to do it. So what I think we'll do in real time. So that much of uh, interactive session I'm expecting here. Okay. So first of all, Tosca automation team. Tosca automation is one of the market leading testing tool in the market. Okay. So why this is leading the market? Because we can automate n number of applications. N. So there is no restrictions like we cannot automate these applications, these applications. Almost we can automate any kind of applications. Okay. And one more thing is it is a zero code based test automation tool. Zero code based test automation tool. This is the main advantage. Thing. Okay. Why this is main advantage? As a developer, think as perspective as a developer. If developer is developing the code to build the application as per the client requirement. So what is test engineer role? We need to test the application. To do the testing purpose, we are, we are also learning some programming languages, either Java or Python. Again, we are writing some code and again, we are testing the functionality. So to write the code, to test the application functionality, it is killing a lot of time. Okay. So due to that, the Tricent is introduced to the market as a zero code based test automation tool. Okay. How we will do the automation here with the help of drag and drop. So only one activity, drag and drop. 
drag one location to another location, do the operation. Even single line of coding also not required here. Even single line. So then you will raise one question here. Like, uh, I came from non-IT. Okay. I am from pharmacy background. I am from medical background. I am from some electronic, civil, mechanical. How? How this course will help my career? Okay. Team, if you people are planning first time for IT career, Okay, if you people are planning for first time to jump IT career, like IT career is nothing but software organizations. Okay, so the testing, testing is the best platform, even if you get an opportunity as a fresher or experienced, it's a blessed, best platform and uh, you can do your work, your own only without depending on others, if you learn the tools. Okay. The advantages of Tosca. We'll discuss the advantages of Tosca today. What are the advantages? Why we are choosing here? So, advantages of Tosca. We can do. It will support UI-based application and non-UI-based applications, API, desktop, mobile, Salesforce. SAP all modules. Okay. So what are the SAP all modules we have? It will support all SAP modules. Seems like don't think uh, these all are the application categories. Each option is seems like it's a project. Okay. If you get a chance to work on mobile-based project using Tosca, how will do the testing? If you get a chance to SAP, Okay, to work on Tosca automation. SAP is a project, a number of modules we have behind SRP. So if you get any opportunity to work on SAP one module, either MM module or PICO module or SD module, what are the module? So how we will automate using Tosca? Okay, what are the prerequisites required for the Tosca automation? Tim, I'll give you only one information here. Here you are seeing different kind of applications, different kind of functionalities. But coming to the workflow, coming to logic, how to write the logic, this is the same thing. Okay, there is no difference between application to application. It is a desktop, same logic, same approach will follow. It is a web application, same approach will follow. SAP, same approach will follow to do the development and exhibition. As we executed yesterday, one example, right? Amazon functionality. So that is a web application. Okay. Now SAP. SAP also we executed, right? SAP is a desktop. That is another functionality. But compare the test case development and module scanning. Thing. Seems like test module scanning, test case development, both are same. Okay. That is the here. So the here applications in real time, different, different application, different functionality. Coming to automation point of view, based on the testing, we'll write the logic. That's it. We all are here to learn the workflow of TOSC. What are the pages we have and which sections we'll use, how to write a logic based on the requirement. Okay. Coming to here, team. Git repositories and bit buckets. I think if someone is working on a uh, real time, they'll understand what is Git, what is bit buckets. Okay. I'll give you one information here. Gits and bit buckets as a repository stick. So git to bit bucket and a and the repository sanata. So in the key repositories and just assume as a team. Now you are working one project. Just think always real-time perspective. Team. Don't think this is a training. Okay. What are the things we are learning? It's a completely real-time. Now you people are working as a one team. Okay. So five members are having within the team. Okay. Just assume you are working as a selenium code. Okay. These five will these five people are having five different laptops, right? Either create five different laptops in the poker poker laptop. Yes. 
in each person's ki company wal laptops is there. So the company will give laptops to the each person, right? Yes, or no? Yes, yes. So the first person worked on 10 test cases. So first person 10 test cases pina work chaser. Record work chaser. Tan laptop lo work chaser. Again, second person worked on 10 test cases. Which laptop? Second person's laptop. So can I access this first person? Can I access second person's laptop? No. See, no. Now we are in different no. locations. Okay. You are in somewhere. I am in Hyderabad. You are in Pune. You are in Chennai. You are in some other bodies, some different locations. Can I access your physically your laptop? It is not possible. Okay. As a team lead. Okay, just assume as a team lead, if you are working as a team lead, you are not here to sit in print of the each person laptop to see all the test cases, right? Okay, team lead ga, manam kuchu ni ukukko person laptop lo in the test cases development chase aru anil manam check chelem kar. That is the first. Another point, okay, we are client ga ni. If ten to test cases reports kawal na ko execution report kawali ante. Okay, a person that the Nunchim and reports and the collectors from total of five reports to share share. At the correct approach and client five reports share just them, five Kalipoka single report pass just them. Single report. And we'll pass only coding idea. Something client is asking about the Selenium coding, how many test cases you build. I want to see that coding. Coding should all unfold now. Client idea. So, what they will do? And the Okoka person systems low on the e coding, the client in Manamela share just the that is also a challenge, right? So, due to this, in a stamma and each person coding with development type in Tarata while code with the method keep marches the repositories look in marches the room and the Eros marches in test cases and the git repository look marches just marches nothing but. Repository, central repository. Every kind of code coding on this. Once manam git repositories like marches in the other, it could execute chase, it git links and every client works. It is nothing but a repository activities. But no need to do these many activities in Tosca. Tosca la manam inni activities chairs and ausaram coda label. Now this point clear, right? Everyone. Why these Git and Bit buckets they are using in different projects? Yes. To yes, I understand. To share the code to the client. Now, coming to Tosca. How the people are maintaining their work to share the client? Here also same problem, right? Manam kuda automation is just now. Client to test cases are done. Client to choda lana kuda. Then how we will give access to the client? Asal manam ella work chest to now. Individual laptops the work chest to Or we are working as a shared or multi user repositories the work chest to now. Mane the main part. So in Tosca team, we have a shared repository. At the time of project creation, manu project ni create chest it up. Shared repositories the project create chest. Let me show how it looks like. Let me close this project. Uh, so the shared repository will be only in one of the laptop or how is it? It, it is with shared with everyone. It will be shared with everyone. The project is one time creation. Okay. So here you can understand one point here. The project is one time creation. So we'll create this project with the help of shared repository. In one particular laptop, right? In one particular laptop. Okay, mm -hmm. so if we create shared repository, which basis we are taking? So Toscala shared repositories is nothing but SQLI databases. Okay. okay, so we are choosing databases as a shared repository. One is SQLI, MySQL Server, and DB2, and Oracle. These four are the databases. Okay. So, after creating project, something, some middle of the project, some new joiner is joined in our team. Okay. 
So in that particular person laptop, we are not going to create a project there. Simply we'll go to the database, we'll access to that person and we'll create a access to that person. That's it. Okay. That's it. So this is nothing but shared repository activities. I will show you how to create these repositories. So in shared repository, everyone can access, right? Exactly. Everyone can access. And you know, everyone can see everyone test case development test exhibitions. Yeah, Anusha, who is the responsible for giving the answers to the new person joined in the middle? The team lead, or if someone is acting as a POC, then they will give you the access to the new persons. Okay. They'll create one user ID in project level and they'll give the credentials to that person. I will show you here, okay? Okay, Anusha. And one more thing, uh, admin lagi or not, Anusha? Yes, admin also available. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here you can see, I will show you those all who will handle these things and how to create admin access, how to create user credentials. These are all things I'll discuss here. Okay. So currently I'm using which version team? Tosca? 15. 15.0. 15. What is the latest version? 16. 16.0. 16. You know, in MNCs, software MNCs company, level 3, level 5, some companies are using 15 version, some companies are using 16, some projects we are implementing 14th version also. Okay. So that is the reason I'm just giving training experience for only 15th version, but I will give you the differences between 15 version to 16 and 15 version to 14th version. Clear? Are there any major differences between these versions? There is no major differences. They are keeping this interface as a more uh, readable and uh, to save some efforts, test engineering. Yes. So functionality will be same and everything will be same. Only few features will be there. Yeah. Some few features they are adding additionally. Okay. So here one option is there. This is create a new. Create new is nothing but creating a new project. Okay. And here you are able to see, right? Recent projects. Are you able to see this option? Recent project. What are the options you are seeing here? These all are the projects. This all are the different, different projects. Okay. Now we'll create one project. Click on create new. Now see, at the time of project creation, at the time of project creation, project create a set of group, we'll call this one as a workspace. What is that? Workspace. So at the time of project creation, we can call it as a workspace. Here, team, we have different terminologies, you know. They'll ask in interview different terminologies. What is shared repositories? They'll mention here that you share, which shared repository you are using, which workspace you are working, is this single user workspace or multi user workspace. So, what type of repositories you are using in the in your project? Okay. Within this particular screen, we will get around two to three interview questions. Okay. So here the terminology is different, different terminologies team, but coming to the solution is only one solution. Okay, they, they'll ask the interview question different approaches, but the solution is same. Okay. So coming to here, this is the new workspace. And here, create a common repository. Common is nothing but what is common repository? This repository is common for team members. Team members. Okay. So at the time of project creation team, select type of repositories. As I explained earlier, type of repositories are four types team. One is SQLite, MS SQL Server, then Oracle based, then DB2. Only these four databases only available in Tosca. Okay, if we click on this drop down, so here you can see, click on this drop down. Now you are able to see, right? SQLite, 
or I kill MS equal server and DB2. And one more point here, these four databases are acting as a shared repositories. Clear? Till e databases ni use just for nere a project ni create just the what ni manamu shared repositories anta. Ledu ante multi user repositories anta. Ledu ante common repositories anta. Terminology is different. Okay. These four databases is acting as a shared repositories. This point is clear, everyone. Click on this drop down. If you click on this drop down, you can see the first option create a single user workspace. Create a single user workspace. The meaning of this one thing we are creating a workspace for single person. That means no one can access that particular workspace. Only that is dedicated to only one person. But this option is not held in real time. At the time of practical thing, it will help. But the real time, we are not going to use this first option. Create a single user workspace is not recommendable one in real time. Okay. Always we'll choose either SQLite or Oracle or MS SQL Server or db for these four databases also, only the recommendable one is MySQL Server DB2 and Oracle only. MySQL Server DB2 and Oracle only. Why these things? I will tell you here. Okay. Are you able to see Escalate, right? SQLite is the training purpose to learn something. If someone is trying to learn Tosca automation, we need to give some platform to them, right? That is the reason that Tricentis is added this SQLite repository. Okay, but this is acting as a shared repository. This is not a single user. Okay. And, but real time, we'll use either MS SQL Server or Oracle or DB2 to create a project. Clear? Everyone? Yes, solution. Yes. Okay. SQLite is only for training purpose. MS SQL Server, Oracle, and DB2 is the real time used databases. So, team, only few people are having some access for these servers. Team lo ukkariki idhariki matra me bt access is taru because if something is changed, ever any then a change is around that will be impact to the project level. Okay. Maybe these things will taking care by the team lead or POC of team. Okay. But access is given to everyone to change it. It should be with team lead or someone who so is... Uh... team lead. If someone is joined team, then I'll create some user ID password and I'll share it with the particular person. Mm -hmm. So then you can click on the project and they enter your user ID password, then allow to the person. Then you'll go to the inside, right? So team member will be only able to access, right? He cannot change yeah. database, right? Yes. So if you want to access that again, we need to raise a request, RATM request, some SIT request, you know, in mm. real time, some IT department or the mm. IS services department, a lot of things we need to do it. But there is no use of it because that is a database at the time of project creation they'll use, but after that, they will not touch that one as if something we right. need to one time, do. One time, activity. one time activity only. So, mana rojo than we work chest and up to use out from the end they will give, but we are not using that right daily basis. It's only a one time creation. Anusha, who actually work on this like architect or some like admin? Actually, so I voice is a bit low, Dinesh. I yeah. cannot hear you properly. Yeah. Is it audible now? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I was asked this question when I was giving interview. So they asked me like who configured this uh, architect or admin or someone else. Yeah. So if you create any project by default, we have admin permission. They have some admin permission. Okay. okay. It's only admin. Okay. So the admin people will taking care of these things. Hmm? Okay, Michelle. 
So if someone is asking Dilish, uh, we are not the person to seat a configuration. So maybe some, time, uh, some of the organization we have center of attraction teams like COA team connect with them and they'll do some configuration setup. But this configuration is not much team. At the time of your system installation, okay, we will do the installation part in your system, right? At the time of that installation, you, you know how to do the TOSCA configurations, these setups clearly. Okay. So, team, except SQLite, I will tell you these three databases now. Hmm. Now, I'm selecting Oracle database. Okay. Now, I'm selecting Oracle database. If you want to create a project for your team members using Oracle database, always pass the connection string. Are you able to see one option here, the connection string? Yes. Yes, Anas. So, must you need to pass this connection string? After passing this connection string, click on test connection. If your connection is valid, then it will show you the connection is valid. If not, it will show you an va connection validation error. Because I have not entered anything data source user ID password, that is the reason it is showing error message. If someone is joining my team, okay, just assume. Uh, something, uh, one person, I'll pick one person in a participant list. Like uh, Jyoti is joined my team. Okay, Jyoti is joined my team. So I raise a ticket for Jyoti's laptop and Jyoti get the laptop and Jyoti is asking me to configure Tosca automation in Jyoti's system. Okay, what I'll do, uh, I'll ask, I'll raise ticket for the installation of this Tosca automation in Jyoti's system. After completion of installation, what I'll do, I'll create user ID and password in my system, like admin credentials. Then I'll share that user ID password and along with this connection string to join this connection string. Okay. So, my project creates a setup to a connection string. Okay. So, now I'm joining existing project, right? Already project is created and someone is also working, right? So if you are joining existing project, always select do existing project. Use existing repository. Okay. So pass the connection string and enter the name and join the project. That's it. Team, add the mind under key. Yes. Okay. So, if you a new person in team, you join a new person in the team. You can join a person in the team. You can join a person in the request So, you can install the system. Once install the system, you can install the system. You can install the system. You can install the connection string. You can install the connection string. You can install the Okay. So, data source, user ID, and password. Once we pass this connection string, this connection string is person to pass this in Tarvata. We can use this database use as the repository create at the time of project creation. Select the same database. Same database select. We can use existing repository. This is a tick chase. Okay, then connection string manager just take a copy and paste it here. Ikada manam paste chase. Once manuki could paste chase in Tarvata, test a connection. Connection is test and press chase in Tarata, connection with the mistabish of Ikada connection is valid and also just valid and matra me Once man a connection valid in Tarata, it could repository which is project name made to maintain this matter, same project name enter this work a press chase. After my project, let me enter it. Clear? He mandar ke adam hai na? Everyone? Jyoti, Madhu? Yeah, yes, boss. Okay. I have one doubt. Uh, so, first time, whenever the first time we are creating the workspace, that time this checkbox will be unchecked, right? After, unchecked. Yeah, after that, whoever uh, is creating the workspace, we have to select this checkbox. Am I correct? Exactly. By default, it will select. No, don't worry. Just cross check. So, before uh, checking this one, you always do cross check. You are creating new project or you are joining to the existing project. Yeah. So, coming to Oracle, I think MS SQL Server also same. So, do you click on this question mark. 
here you can see to do to activate this ms sequence server server details data source user id and password okay uh, if you want this server ID, tomorrow I will show you how it looks like the server database user ID. So, my management and the admin team value, my team lead say that the server connection is the same connection string and then manu use the ID. Okay, na? different connection strings use the code. Then here enter the name create a project. This is MySQL server. Coming to database. Yes. Tim, why I'm showing this information to you? In the plan, the chapter nano ante, mana mokasare create a project like giant or tamu, but intermissly one ni kuda adutar manu. Okay na? So, it depend upon this project. This project, this database is based on the project. Lo additional change in the activity is the same. Same interface, the same sections, the same development. But the option is different. Max MS SQL Server is the same as the MS SQL Server. I will show you these things. Okay? Now, we are learning something in Tosca, right? Select SQLite. Now, I am selecting SQLite. So, SQLite select is going to end and use existing repository and only can uncheck this one because I am creating new project now. I put my book a new project to create just now. Uncheck change, do uncheck. So, enter your project name. So, select the name of your project. Before selecting, this is the location tip. So, we read the project creates now a project key location to store of the me system. Though. Okay. And this is the workspace. My project related workspace occurred under the detail information. Workspace name. Okay. So, I'm not touching these all the things, team. I'm just only adding this uh, name, project name. Okay. So, what is the project name, our project name? You can take any project name, Tosca. Amazon. I'm just giving example thing, okay? So my project name is Amazon AME. Just as you, okay, your project name is Amazon AME. So after entering your project name, here select workspace template. So see here, workspace template. Workspace template is nothing but thing. This is a standard subset. Okay. So for Tosca, two extensions are there. One is Tosca commander extension. What is the commander extension? Dot TWS is the Tosca commander extension. Okay. And subset. If you go to the subset extension, dot TSU file. Okay. That is the reason here you are seeing one option as a Tosca standard dot TSU file. This is the default option team. Why we are selecting this template, I will tell you once we log into the project level. Okay. So click on OK. If you click on OK, see here creating new workspace and new common repository. Okay. So it's doing some activities and it's doing checking on and this project is created successfully. So it takes some time to The project template also successfully included. Wait for some time. If you want to enter to the project, always do enter your user ID password. So, my project could enter a login credentials. It is a kind of authentication. So, a username password. So, default you can see here the default option is admin. Admin credentials the join moment. So, for our admin credentials, username is admin team, password is nothing. There is no password, only empty. Directly do click on login. So, why it is showing only admin? In the admin, 
everyone mallikarjun why it is showing user id admin default team lead team lead only access this is not team lead user id right team lead user id na team lead also one person right that person has having some different name unique name yeah yeah why you are getting only admin access here default okay. user name this is um with okay. the system are we getting uh, directly if we are installing if there is no user are you using this admin no it's a default only, but not exactly mm. okay. default name only yes team. other any other answers because as you created a new workspace a new project exactly the thing is here we created a new project create chesaru right new project lo manaku already existing persons evare unnara no just now you are creating new project okay you are the person you are the admin you are creating new project that is the reason directly it is showing username as a admin because no one is there no one is added in this project that is the reason it is showing directly as a admin access okay na clear everyone Yes. yes so if you are uh, joining like uh, accessing existing project directly remove this one enter your name and uh, your password then click on log if these two are valid then only it will allow you to the project see work wrong username and password because i am not authorized person to access this project clear so because we are creating this project first time thing that is the reason the default option is admin only so there is no password here empty password click on login if you click on login directly it will go to the project for admin access to default no password mm. yes krishna you are saying something okay now you are able to see the template right test case section modules test case designing requirement execution issues configuration test planning you are able to see these all the sections right you are the admin of this project if you want to add your users i will tell you how to add the users to the project level how to give credentials to them Hmm. Coming to here, team. Now we learn in Tosca Commander how to create a repository. You, I think you aware of these things, right? How to create a project? We are using shared repositories, SQLite or MS SQL Server, DB2 or Azure. It's a one-time creation. Okay, na. Now. Team, ever can I have any questions in the year? It could work too. Anyone? Okay. So, under key are the main people, right? Project Tela create chess puntamu, type same muntai, a databases ni pictures puntamu, and is the under key clear, right? New project Ella create just them existing on the project like Ella join out the money points clear, right? Fine. Now, team in Tosca, we have some components. Tosca components. Okay. If you see these Tosca components, I'll tell you one by one. The first one is Tosca commander. So, commander and day, if you choose to know, they need Tosca commander and downloadable application and matter, they need Tosca commander and Next one, Tosca Executor. So, Tosca lo, manam test cases executions chest to untanka, the back end maniki Tosca Executor and a compost support chest. So, at the time, if something is, we are executing in Tosca Commander, the back end it will show, it will support this component. 
next tosca ci tosca ci is nothing but tosca continuous integration component the fourth option is tosca wizard okay fourth option is tosca wizard so in tosca wizard is not in scope 15 and above versions are you getting earlier up to 14th version we have access for this tosca wizard so 15 version onwards the tricent is or revoke the access for this tosca wizard they are not giving access for this tosca wizard they are giving only access for these three components only clear but t at the time of this Tosca installation, this Tosca commander installation, it will show the Tosca wizard also. Let me show you how it look like. So first we'll go for one by one. Hmm? First Tosca commander. Now you know right Tosca commander. This is the Tosca commander. So after installation in your system, search with Tosca commander. See Tosca commander app. Now open the tab and log into the project or open the tab, create your project. Okay, now. Next point is, here you can see, after creating project in Tosca Commander, you can see the project options, number of sections. How many sections you are able to see? In Tosca Commander, how many sections you are able to see here? Around eight to nine sections. Sections is nothing but Ikada confusion chudandi within mana sections modules requirements section pages Tosca commander components Tosca towers how many terminologies as of now you hear from me four right one is sections another one is phases Another one is Tosca components, Tosca commander components, then towers of Tosca. Totally four terminology. So these all are the different terminologies they'll ask in uh, interviews. So that is the reason I'm giving these all terminologies to you people. Okay, now. Let me make a note. Tosca Commander. So inside this Tosca Commander, you can call it as a sections or phases or towers of Tosca or Tosca Commander. Components, four terminologies. Okay, in this four terminology, same answer. So one is test case section. Another one is module section, and test case design. Next execution. Finally, here requirement section. Then configuration issues, test plan, configuration, and data integrity testing. This data integrity testing is only for big data testing thing. Big data, snowflake. Okay. To do uh, those testing, <laughs> Yes. So coming to here, okay. What are the sections I highlighted here? So we'll use only these four sections for test automation purpose. Are you understanding my points, everyone? Tosca low. Test automation perform jayadaan ki only e four sections lo maathra me work chayistamu. 
why not rest of the things any idea madhu madhu sai any idea on this team in tosca commander you can see a number of sections approximately 8 to 9 sections you are able to see here okay in this 8 to 9 section in real time will work on only the selected sections only selected phases only selected towers only why why yeah, we, do phases, we cannot do anything now. the rest of the things we cannot do yes anything. so the thing is team here this tosca commander okay Tosca commander is acting as a test management tool and test automation tool. Test management and test automation. So first I'll explain one thing. What is test management tool? So if someone is working on automation, right? Uh, real time, right? Tell me, Tim, what are the test management tools we have? ALM, ALM, Jira. Hmm? Jira. Uh. Something Q test. Q uh. Okay. These are all the tests. We have a lot of things. So make a note of these points. We'll discuss these points tomorrow. Okay. Tosca lo number of sections in nine, eight to nine sections. In nine. E eight to nine sections, and these sections lo mana work chest the No. So, we will any sections la matram work just the manam only a four sections. Why four section? Why not rest of the things? This question we'll discuss tomorrow. Okay. So, Tim, to explain these points, uh, hardly for me it takes around one hour of time. That is the reason I'm telling you. We'll discuss this concept tomorrow. Any questions, Tim, up to here? Eroj Manan discuss chess kuna concept. Lemon a question sunaya. MM discuss chess kuna miroju. Tell me about repository. Create workspace. Create workspace. Hmm. Workspace any types sunaya. There are two types. Four. Four, types. Four, types. Four types. Two types. Mm -hmm. What are those? How we will create multi user workspace? Multi user repositories low, Manamela creates a multi user workspace name. We are selecting database. So, data Select repository. Repository. While selecting repository type. So, how many types available in Tosca? Four. Four. What are those? One. SQLite. SQLite, MySQL server. MySQL server. Mm -hmm. DBT. So, can we work on SQLite in real time? Only for training purpose. Only for training purpose. Only for learning purpose. Learning purpose. Learning purpose. Okay. So, but real time, which repositories will you have? MySQL server, MySQL, Oracle, DB2. So, if we select this one, is that enough? No. Each database level, which things will give? Connect Connection strings. String. Connection strings you want. Okay. Clear, right? Workspace yes. creation, everyone? Okay. Tomorrow we'll discuss uh, why we are uh, choosing working only these four sections. Why not rest of the things? What are the differences here? Okay. Any questions, Tim? Uh, yeah, one question. Yes, uh, please. If multiple peoples are working on the same project, uh, how, how we are managing it? I mean, how the latest okay. updates are reflected? That is uh, team activities. Okay, I will cover this concept going forward. Hmm? 
Okay, because if new person is joining into the project, new yeah. person is joining into the project, which details it will reflect when he join in the project? If he is in, if we are in middle in the middle if of the project. Someone is joining our project that will not impact to the team. Okay. Yeah. I will show but you those team activities, how team members are sharing okay. their work, how they are doing the activities in real time. Hmm? Okay. Okay, team. Thanks for joining all. So tomorrow we'll join same time. Hmm. Thank you, team. Team is uh, is anyone wish to share the email ID? Could you please share through Teams or uh, like uh, chat window? If anyone wish to share email ID for recordings, please share me your email ID in a chat window. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, Tim, once you share, uh, you can drop off. Tim. Thank you all. We'll meet tomorrow, same time. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye. Thanks, bye. Thank you. Okay, bye.